Hi, welcome to our first maths video. Um, what we're going to do today is we are going to carry on the work we were doing last half term about numbers, specifically uh, what numbers represent. So today what we're going to look at are two things. We are going to be grouping, we're going to be grouping in uh, lots of 10 or groups of 10 and what we're going to be also be learning is about that one group of 10 represents 10 ones, okay? So, here I have some teddy bears. I can count these, first of all, by counting them in ones. Touch and count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, 15. That's one way of doing it. But what can happen, especially with larger amounts, it gets more and more difficult, especially when you're working with numbers over 20. But what we can do here is what we can do is we can start to bring in a grouping of 10 to help us. Here I've got a piece of Numicon and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that to help me group the teddy bears into groups of 10. So I'm going to use for this two pieces of Numicon because I know that my number is already larger than 10. So what I'm doing is placing them one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I can see I've got a group there of 10 teddy bears and then one two, three, four, five. So I've got one group of ten and five left over, or five ones, not making a complete group of ten. So I can see that ten, one group of ten and five ones makes fifteen altogether. Um, here you can see that I've got some muffins. Again, I can count these muffins in um, by counting first of all as ones. Count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. But a more accurate way to count those ten and more muffins is to actually start begin to group them. Now you can see underneath, just like my pieces of ten Numicon, I'm going to use ten frames here to help me to group those muffins. So what I would like you to do at home whilst you're watching this is count with me and when I make a group of 10 I would like you to clap representing that that group is finished. So what I'm going to do is we'll move that muffin down into the 10 frames there. So one, just bear with one second, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Excellent. Thank you for clapping. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move these muffins over to this ten frame and start a new one. And I'm going to count from the beginning back from one. So one muffin going in there, two, slightly smaller muffin, and three. Okay, you can see on the board there that I've got in my first complete group there, I know that I've now got 10, 10 muffins, because that's a complete group filling my 10 frame up. I don't need to count those again, because I know that each cell, each part of that 10 frame is full. Now, I can see here in this group that I have not got a full group. So instead of counting in tens in a group, I'm going to count in ones. I know that there's one, two, three. OK, so I've got a group, one group of 10 and three ones. Now, if I can combine that, I can use the plus or the add symbol to represent that 10 and 3 all together, or is the same as 13 muffins. Now, I'm remembering that there's one group of 10, because it's here. I'll put a T at the top there to represent that. Bear with me one second. So that one there represents that one group of 10. And then I've got the three representing the three muffins all by themselves. So the number there, total number is 13. 
And I can also use my number line here to make sure I'm looking accurately at what that number looks like. Okay, so let's have a look at something else. This time we've got oranges. Okay, there's, again there's a few. I could start by counting those oranges in ones, but what I'm actually going to do instead, I'm going to start already to start to group just from the beginning because I've got my 10 frame here. So what I need to do is again, count with me as I put these oranges into groups. And when I get to 10, if you clap, then I know that I can stop. So moving them down, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Excellent. Thank you for clapping. So I've, I've managed to fill one whole group already. I know that I've got ten there. That's one of my groups completed. Now I'm wondering, there's some left. I'm not sure. It looks like I could possibly fill it up, but let's see. Maybe you can have a quick guess or an estimate first of all how many you think are there. Let's see if you're right. How many? Right, let's see. So I'm going to move that one down to the next 10 frames and start to populate that one. Two, three, four, five. I filled the top row. Six, seven. You can see that actually there's three cells, three boxes empty there. So I've not finished that. I've not made a group. Um, I've only got, let's count those ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Only seven ones there. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bind. I know I've got my group of 10. I also know that because that's a group of 10, I don't need to count that again. I can count on from that 10, counting on to how many there are all together. So it's 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So a one group of 10 plus seven ones equals all together 17. So that's one 10 representing that one group of 10. So I'm going to put my T there representing that number one, that numeral represents this group here, and then a seven to represent these seven oranges by themselves in that group, seven of ones. So I'm using the O there, T and O representing tens and ones. Now, what happens if we had a large amount? Let's see. Now we've got apples. So what I'm going to do is I need your help again to group these apples, moving them down into the 10 frame so I know that I'm counting them accurately, and I'm grouping again. What number am I grouping in? Excellent, 10. So when I get to 10, you'll clap. So let's fill it up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, because I've made that group, I don't need to carry on. I know that's a 10. I'm going to work on my next 10, but I'm not going to count them all together because that might be a bit tricky. What I'm going to do now is go back to zero and start to fill up another 10 frame. So count with me. One, two, three, four, five. I hope you're going to clap this time. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Thank you. Ten. So I've got filled up two 10 frames there. One, two, three, four, five, just move that out of my way, six, seven, eight. Oh, I've still got some spaces left, so I hope you didn't clap for that one because I didn't quite make a 10, did I? Didn't make another group of 10. Now what we're going to do is we're going to look at these amounts here and see how grouping will help us to count them all together. We know we made a group there of 10. We know we made another group here of another 10, but we know that we only had eight ones here. So what we can actually do is we can actually begin to combine three numbers. We know that we've got 10 and 10, and we know that 10 and 10 on our number line, if I look at number 10 there and I count on 10 more, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, lands me on, that's correct, number 20, because 10 and 10, you see we've got one and one 10 there, combined makes two lots of 10, which is 20, and then we've got the eight. So 20 add eight, where we can count on, again, just check on our number line at the bottom, make sure we're correct. Counting on, I know already that I've got 10 and 10, which is 20, so I don't need to count those again. Counting on, one, two, three, four, 
by, what was it? It was 8, wasn't it? 6, 7, 8. I know that 20 add 8 makes 28 because I've got two groups of 10 represented here. 10 and 10 make 20. And then I've got those eight ones. OK, so I hope that helped to introduce to you how grouping uh, amounts into groups of 10 actually speeds up the process, helped you to count qu quicker and helps you as well with not having those large amounts each time. So to follow on for that work, what I would like you to do is I would like you to have a go um, at taking a group of objects. Um, you can do this at home with Lego, with coins, or you might have other things that you can use. And with that group, then grouping them. So you're breaking them down each time into lots of 10 and then ones just like I did with the apples, the muffins and the oranges. OK, 